So I think uh, it's better for me uh, to discuss with you. So everyone can learn. Eh? Okay, kalau tengokkan sini, uh, the 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 layout plan is a good lah, the good try ya, eh, this one. But the problem is that, okay, uh, this one eh, you can see here, this is the column, the red one is column eh. I, I understand this is the column. First thing first that I spot is that uh, we need another column here. Yeah? Why don't you put a column here? Yeah, because, okay, remember. Uh, Masa, uh, during the lecture, uh, the lecture last time, our lecture regarding the size of the uh, the beam, eh? we will determine the size size of the beam depend on the L over L over D. Eh? So L over D basically L over D is basically between 13 to 18 eh? for the for the um, for the beam, yeah. Ini, eh? This is the rule of thumb. Eh? Okay, now you see here. You can see here the distance is 4670. Eh? So, ini, kalau this one, the column here to here. So, we got the total of this line. Berapa ni? Yeah? Berapa tu? Eh? Part enam tujuh kosong eh, times three, so you have fourteen thousand eh. Ini totally is fourteen thousand, fourteen thousand eh. Let's say now we we need to let's say we we can assume that L over D, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Let's say we adopt it as L over D katakan. Now let's say we L over D. Uh, 15 yeah 15 so what is the d so l is equal berapa situ eh 15 darab dengan d so your size of beam is let's say size of beam 600 eh 600 600 let's say you minus it cover Minus with uh, link eight, katalah uh, uh, twelve uh, diameter six hundred yeah minus with the cover minus link thirty sorry minus link eight minus. Uh, so your D is 552 eh. So 552 ni when I calculate 600 minus cover minus link diameter minus uh, one layer of steel eh. So we got 552 times uh, 15. Berapa tu eh? Narap dengan 15. So you have 8 eh. 8. Lebih kurang 8,000 eh. 8,000 eh. So now look at here. Ini di total ni empat belas ribu eh. So this one cannot be accepted. Yeah, this one is not accepted. Yeah, you must your spend must less than eight thousand. Yeah, maybe you put here. Kalau if you want to put here column, the distance here is more than eight thousand. So in other words, you need to put column. Kau ni dekat. Sini lah, yeah. Sini kena ada kolam. Sini pun kena ada kolam. Paham tak? Eh? Sini pun sama juga. There must be kolam ya. Nah. Nak mudahkan lagi ini semua ada kolam. Kalau tak ini akan jadi point load. Okey juga lah. Kalau tak ada ni, eh, boleh jadi point load dia. This one also point load. Okey. Okey. So this one we must. Yeah, for the uh, here, uh, you can put the what is the line? Oh, you can put beam here, beam here. 
Okey. Ada nak tanya tak? If you do if you don't want to put beam here, it become a big slab, one way slab, eh? one way slab, a big one way slab. Yeah, this is berapa ni distance ni? Four, five, eh? five, five, and then this one is fourteen thousand. Eh? It's so big, yeah. So that's why we need to put the beam here. Okay, any question? Dah cuba belum? Boleh cakap eh? Uh, chat. Okay, chat. Uh. Tak tahu ada yang dah update ETN Smart Internet buat hal katanya. Tak apa. Kita nak tanya sikit yang 800 Ok yang ni Yang 800 Apa ni Doktor nak tanya sikit yang 800 Oh ok Nanti saya explain balik Yang ni faham tak? Okay, faham. Dah faham, okay eh? Okay, so basically lah eh, you punya macam ni lah. But, um, uh, maybe if you want, if you want eh, boleh juga letak sini. Kolom. Eh? Letak kolom sini boleh juga. But if you don't have kolom here, it is also good eh, because it become a point load to this to this uh, beam ya. Yeah? Okey. Okey, ada yang tanya yang tadi ya. Eh? Uh, Okey, this one. Excel. Doktor boleh kami letak beam dekat hall tu kan? Boleh kami tidak letak? Eh uh, Tengok dulu macam saya kata tadi Ya, yeah, because uh, Mana tadi ya If you don't put Beam here Ya yeah, It become a big ya, yeah, big slab Sini ni I'm afraid that the crack will not pass when you When you do the Cracking Checking for the slab nanti ya yeah, Because now uh, the slab the slab here is quite big eh? berapa ni 5,000 and 14,000 yeah? so it become a one way sekejap eh? berapa tu 14,000 I'm, I'm afraid that you will need a very thick slab eh? so my as well you put the beam here tu aja my comment Betul, betul. Ya. Yeah. Maknanya kita ada satu je kan, uh, slab one way. Ya, yeah, betul. Untuk span BC to... tu kan? Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah, ah. yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, betul. So yang ni, this one you can put, um, itu tangga kan? Kalau tangga, you boleh cross kan this one. Ah, macam ni. Ni pun tangga eh. Cross kan. So you know this one case wrapper eh? yeah. Okay, mana faham eh? So this is one way slab Okay So must remember you must draw the drawing eh? the Draw the, the beam eh? Nice Nice drawing Like uh, this Example, nah, ni macam ni eh. Not the one, just one line like that. Tadi ada orang tanya eh, sejak saya nak tunjuk. Macam. 
Saya iris ini dulu. Okey, ada uh, kawan you tanya about the Okey, kita tengok Okey, ini. Ini saya kecilkan sikit. Okey. Okay, I will erase this one. Okay. Before that, uh, saya akan buka ni. Okay. Okay. Uh, Tengok ya, eh. AI is the distance to allow for tensile force due to shear ni Z cot theta bar tu. Uh, apa ni, uh, if you don't want to calculate this, can conservatively taken as 1.15, 125D. So, AI is actually, you can assume it as 1.125D. Yeah? So, yang ini. So, let's say eh, sekarang, sekarang ya. Eh, So your distance eh, saya kata uh, di satu lah. Okay, this one is equal 0.3 times, kita ada 8,000 kan? 8,000 minus 1.15 D darab, D dia berapa eh? D let's say 400 or 454. Eh? So you got berapa tu? Twenty times eight thousand minus one point one two five times four point four. So you have one eight eight nine, eh? Almost, almost lebih kurang uh, one hundred nine hundred lah, yeah. Okay. So from here, from the center of the beam to the first cut off, kat sini ni. 1,900 ya. Yeah? So if you cut more, if you cut less, then it is okay lah. Yeah? If you if you want to cut 900, 800, it's okay. So you can use this value is the maximum value here, but you can cut less than this one. Ya. Yeah? So tentang dekat sini ni, kenapa? Ya. Yeah? Uh, Sekejapan. Ha, kenapa kat sini 800 ya? Yeah? Ini kita punya calculation tadi kan, uh, one hundred. Yang ni kosong lapan ratus ni adalah uh, sebenarnya daripada kejap eh, saya saya cari. Uh, Last time ya, last time lah ya. Siapa ya? Ada tadi. Okay. Last time, this one is zero point one L. Ya, yang ini. According to the British Code, eh, ini kosong pas satu L. While here is zero point. 0.15L Okay Okay um, 
ini BS ya dulu BS this, this is from BS simplified code simplified uh, rules due to BS ya BS 8110 the value is 0.1 L 1 1 L and here is 0.15 L but when uh, you know now we refer to the euro code so the simplified detailing also we need to refer to the the new one yeah? this is the new one okay but the example here yeah um, the distance given in the example here is refer referring to the previous code yeah. therefore the, the 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 solution here is got 800 yeah faham tak tadi siapa yang tanya ini kan ha ni 0.1l ni ikut lama punya eh ni ikut lama semua ni kalau ikut baru ya yeah. tapi It is not wrong yeah, because the maximum is what we calculated 1900 yeah. from here to here mesti potong 1900 but now we only cut at 800 so it is safe meaning that if we refer to the previous code yeah our design still safe okay Tadi siapa tanya? Tong Sing eh? Is it Tong Sing? Okay. Okay. So Tong Sing okay eh? Alright. Any more question? Ada apa-apa lagi? Doktor? Okay. Ya. Yeah, size beam tu you kira sendiri. Betul. Uh, you boleh kira sendiri size beam tu Kan tadi tu saya dah ajar you Macam mana determination of size of beam yeah, It's depend on the L over H kan Equal to 13 to 18 yeah. So you got the L So you can ex uh, estimate the H When, Once you get the H Then you can get the B yeah, B is equal 0.3 to 0.6 H kan Okay, clear. Eh? So this one also 0.15 times 800, uh, 8,000. So you get 1,200. But according to the Euro, Euro code, it must be cut at 1,900. So okay, lah. it's less than this one. This is Euro code. Eh? Okay, if test no more question then we will end up the meeting okay ya boleh faham tak senyap je kenapa tak nak cakap bisu semua faham doktor ah, faham okay So, sekarang ni, eh, sekarang ni, uh, you establish dulu, you punya plan, and then terus buat eh, buat continuous beam ya. Eh. Okay, so seorang mesti buat satu continuous beam. Okay, saya lukis balik sini ya, eh. terpadam ni. Eh. So here continuous beam. Uh, this is we got a beam here. Kolom. Okay, so let's say siapa tadi? Izwa. Eh? Izwa, you can design. Sorry. Izwa, let's say you design this beam, ya, yeah? one continuous beam, ya, yeah? and then one simply spotted beam, okay, and then one panel. This panel is two-way slab, ya. Yeah? 
this panel and this one one way okay that means each student must do four design simply spotted beam one continuous beam one way slab and two way slab okay that's it yeah so in one group you must divide uh, work between your uh, member yeah if uh, Izatu has already designed this uh, so Tongsing must choose other you know continuous beam this one maybe yeah or this one or this one yeah And make sure that the load, the action must be uh, for the variable load must be according to its function. Eh? This is the whole. So what is the QK? Yeah, determine from the uh, BS that I have given to you. This one classroom. Yeah. Doctor. Yeah. And one we slap can ada satu je kan? Nah, tak apa semua orang buat tu. Oh, so sekiranya macam semua orang buat benda yang untuk one way tu sama je lah. Ya, yeah, boleh. Kan lain, the distance kan lain, between the group lain kan? Ha, ha, ha. But, but everyone must do this lah, ya. Yeah? Because if you don't do, you don't have experience how to design. Oh, okay, Dr. Dr. Ya. Nak tanya yang QK kan, yang permanent action tu macam mana QK ah yang, yang permanent action tu yang kena bagi dia dia excluding sulfat kan yes then dalam calculation tu kita kena uh, apa consider sulfat dengan eh ya sulfat dia ke dalam project ke dalam apa project ya yeah, dalam project ni you kena cari sulfat from the from the uh, shilling, from the uh, finishers, yeah. Biasanya, the punya value is 1.5 to uh, 1 1.0 to 1. Point, less than 2, eh? 1.5. Basically, 1.5 lah orang pakai. That is from the shilling and also the tiles, finishers and so on. Okay. Yang tinggi untuk wall tu, doktor kita tiga assume. Meter, tiga meter. Biasa lah. Satu tingkat kan tiga meter kan? Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, welcome. Miss everything ni siapa? Miss everything, siapa nama? Indi dah. Ha? Indi. Indi? Indi, ya. Oh, Indi. Oh. Saya ingat perempuan. <laughs> Dia memang perempuan, Dato. <laughs> Okay, okay. Okay, eh? Tak ada lagi soalan? <laughs> Doktor? Yeah? Uh, can I, uh, if I put uh, one beam from beam F7, A until D, we, 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 one long beam, one, one long beam. Uh, from? From uh, A to D. A to D, A to D, A to D. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, can, okay. Can you assume that as continuous beam? Yes, of course. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, it's depend. Eh? Your plan is depend. Your your design will depend on your floor plan. Yeah. If just now, what's your name just now? Ida. Ah, uh, Ida. If you you put beam here, yeah, continuous here to here. This is continuous beam. Okay. Oh, okay. You can also put here. Okay. Something like that. Boleh juga, no problem. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay. Tak ada lagi? Any more? Doctor. Yeah. Doctor. Kalau kita letak beam. Uh, sepanjang span BC tu BC, span BC Mana kita letak beam? Uh, Sini pun ada? Ha. Uh, 
Ah, nanti bukan tak ada speed ah uh, simply beam ke? Mana ada simply beam? Ah ah iyalah iyalah ah ni yeah. dia, janganlah letak. Mana tak yang letak satu kan? Ya, yeah, boleh. Plan macam ni pun okey juga, boleh aje. Okay. So here uh, we have a column lah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Any more question? Tak ada? Uh, tak ada. Hmm. Ya yes, saya. Saya nak tanya pasal saiz beam. Uh. Dan dekat belakang kanan tu ada tulis 250 darab 600. Tu pakaian tu ke ataupun kita kena uh, design eh? Ni uh, macam mana dapat saiz ni? Ke apa maksudnya? Uh, saya nak tahu kita pakai nilai ni nilai fix ke ataupun kita boleh design? Uh, nilai ni, ya, yeah. you boleh assume and then you design lah ataupun you gunakan L over D tadi boleh dapat juga value. Oh, okay, faham. Mm -hmm. Tapi kalau ini kan, ni simple spotted beam ni, ni uh, biasa kita akan letak kita round up lah 525 or 550 something like that eh? it's not normal lah the size here it's 510 yeah so the owner can change this eh? who's who's drawing is this and autodesk and autodesk student version produced by i don't know got no name yeah You boleh assume ataupun uh, gunakan rules L over D How to determine the size of the beam that uh, we you learn last time Okay Any more question? Tak ada eh? Doktor Ya yeah. Tadi kan doktor ada tunjuk yang 522 uh, darab dengan 18 kan? Okay? Ke 15 ha, kan? Ha. Dan 522 tadi tu value apa tu? D Sebab dekat sini, the, this student ni lah the owner of this drawing dia gunakan 600 kan This is H Kan? H uh -huh. So daripada H boleh dapat D kan? Katalah uh -huh. dia punya cover 30 Size steel uh, link 8 And then size steel tension uh, 20 So tolak-tolak dapat 522 lah Oh hmm. okay, okay. Lepas tu dia dah dengan 15 tu nak check untuk distance apa kolom ah, Because ah, okay. tadi uh, 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 ni, Plan ni dia tak ada kolom ni So it's too long The maximum we can go is tadi berapa? 8, 8,000 ni uh, 8,000 je kan Kalau you tak ada kolom sini pun tak boleh It's exit then 8,000 tadi Okay, okay, cepat Terima kasih Dato' Okay, sama Okay, ada lagi? Okay. I will stop recording.